<laughs> oh, baby, did he scare you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey. And, and this, this is, is Dixie. Dixie. And we're Love Hub for Life. We have now been on the road for 139 weeks in our self-built house in the back of our truck. That's right, guys. And this week, we have spent a whole lot of time working on someone else's house. We're building a really, really awesome tiny house that we can't wait to share with you. But this week has also been about friends mixing old friends with new friends and uh, getting out to see some of our tinier friends as well. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, be sure and hit that thumbs up button and uh, comment below. Girl, morning guys, it is morning 963 on the road and we are in Brazoria, Texas, where Shane has spent the last couple of weeks gutting and sealing up this retired school bus so that we can build a tiny house inside. He has made a ton of progress already and we'll make a ton more this week. You guys stay tuned. This is going to be one really, really cool tiny house. Good morning. Check it out. We got a bus on our hands here. So over the past 15, 16 days, I've been working on this bus. When I got here, there was seats, there was a driver's seat, there was steering wheels, it was a whole bus. It doesn't run and this bus will never move from this spot. So what we did was we came in and gutted the entire thing. Um, we patched all the holes everywhere that I could possibly find, including the firewall and the roof had a rooftop AC. We've plated and patched all of that. There's ceiling up there and this week I am finishing up with the floor and I'm going to start framing out this thing. We are building a tiny home that's going to sleep four people. Two adults and two kids is their plan and I'm really excited about it. Y'all stay tuned for more. Y'all, we are on to the good part. I finished up the sub flooring today. So I got all the plywood laid on top of my framework. Roughly cut around the staircase and begin framing in as well. So I'm gonna be using pallet wood and we're gonna be running them vertical. So I get to do this one a little differently. I'm not gonna be installing a bunch of 16 inch spaced um, studs this way i'm doing them laterally because we're going up and down i will have a few and key points but it's going to save a little lumber and it's still going to turn out great we're going to be building a back wall back here this will be the bedroom yeah tomorrow we do more i gotta go get some more drill bits pre-drilling these studs really eats up your drill bits guys Whew. gorgeous six acre property that we are calling home for a little bit. This Texan is happy to be in the homeland and thrilled to be surrounded by all of these gorgeous oak trees. Sometimes there's a couple of horses over to the pasture to the, our right and almost every evening there is quite a bit of cattle and some mules over on this side. I think everyone's hiding from the heat right now. We are super pumped because that fourth spot beside the bus is going to be filled up tonight by some very, very special guests. Actually, the first bus that Shane ever built is coming to visit. Our Nelson boys are in town and we are 
so pumped to see them. Let's go see what Shane's doing. Well, that sun is going down on us again, but it has been a successful day in the bus. Shane has gotten just about all of the framing done and is in the process of loading up all of the lumber and supplies into the bus because we got to close this thing up. I think there's rain coming tomorrow. There is rain coming and I got as much of the framing done as I could before I do the spray installation. Insulation. Installation of insulation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now guys, you might notice there is not a bus sitting beside us in this other spot. No Californians showed up today. Our Nelson boys had a bit of a, a problem coming down the road. They are spending the night on the side of the road hoping for a mechanic tomorrow. That's how bus life goes when they move. <laughs> That is very, very true. For any of you considering schooly life, be prepared because those things do break. <laughs> this one won't though, because it's gonna stay here forever. Guys, that rain has not arrived yet, but according to the radar, it is on its way. Shane's not quite ready for time off yet, so we are erecting our old tent. This is ridiculous. We used to we used to go truck camping before we had the love hut. We've always been a bit excessive. This was for two people. But now we use it as a storage facility or we use it so someone has a place to stay while we're working on the rig. It's got a lot of purposes, but mostly we just keep it crammed in the basement of the love hut. But it should keep off all the rain from our lumber that's on its way. At least I hope. Well, I got the bus all cleaned out. I'm waiting on supplies to show up so I can insulate the inside of it. We're going to be using spray foam. And I'm hoping that thunder and lightning doesn't hit us. It looks like it's going to go right around us though. We'll see. If it does hit us, we are prepared. We are, everything is packed up and dried. They have arrived. <laughs> That's the sea change, guys. <laughs> Good morning, Shane. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> what are we doing over here? Shaking cans. <laughs> We're spray foaming today using the froth pack system. It is about 5 a.m. Yes, so the ideal temperature for our blindness is in the mid to low 70s, and the only time to achieve that in Texas if possible, is in the dark before the sun comes up. So here we are.
So I went to one 200 pack, uh, frost pack. I didn't get the ceiling. So I gotta open the second one. We'll finish this thing up. But first, I gotta cool off a little. This thing's hot. <laughs> oh, baby, did he scare you? <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Hello. 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 Did I scare you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All done? Yeah, I'm out. So any parts that this foam did not fill in, I'll be using my other spray gun and great stuff to fill in any cracks that I may have missed. There towards the end, it got so humid I couldn't see. So I think I got everything. It looks like it. We'll go take pictures in a bit. Round three, y'all. These are almost ready to make jewelry out of. That foam is going to take a while to set, so we're doing a whole lot of this today. <laughs> and we've set up some outdoor cooking too. There will be steaks on this in a little bit. We've got potatoes and ranch style beans over there. And inside that foil is a bunch of mushrooms, bacon, jalapenos, and onions. We're gonna eat good tonight. All right, love you, big brother. Well, Bye, buddy. Oh, I'll see you soon down the road. Love you, Kelso. I'll see you soon. Oh no, Dixie, are they leaving? Goodbye, friends. <laughs> Y'all know it won't be long before we see the sea change again. Have a fridge. We're getting somewhere, guys. <laughs> Carlos and Lorena came by, and I think we have the entire floor plan all planned out and ready to go. It's time to start building, and Shane has a whole bunch of new supplies. It's most of my plumbing. Actually, this is like 60% of the order. More's coming. There's a refrigerator here too, but you can't see it yet. It came in a Tesla. <laughs> it came in a Tesla, yeah. Well, it's another rainy morning in Brazoria. But that means I've got Shane beside me. You do. I placed a couple of very large orders this week to really bring in everything I need to finish the bus out. But due to the size of it and where I had to come from, it's taken a bit to get down here. So I didn't quite get in enough supplies to really any to really accomplish any task today. So my task is to get this thing packed up and I think we're gonna just head out today because the weather is gross and it's gonna take a while to get where we're going. Yep, we will be back to work on the bus very soon, but for now, it's time to go see some very special people in East Texas. Uh -huh. Guys, we traveled up about 300 miles today, maybe a little bit more than that, and wound up in Henderson, Texas. We stopped for a little bit of food, 
before heading to our next destination. And we are now on our way to go and hang out with one of our absolute best friends. She's only three years old, but she's the coolest three-year-old you will ever meet. We're also kind of excited to see her parents. Just kidding, Chelsea. We love you too. Ready to go, babe? No, meat chicken liver. It's good to be back in the cell. <laughs> we'll get this. See what's chicken liver. You think Dixie wants to play the guitar? <laughs> awesome week and we have had so much fun. Thank you to everyone who has been part of this video and uh, the experiences that we've had this week. We love all of you and appreciate all of you. We also want to take the time to say thank you to each and every one of you who are watching this video and who have been following us along since day one. If you haven't already done so, be sure and hit that subscribe button and go back to see some old videos. I think we're at like 200 if you're looking for a different point of view of our life, check out our Facebook and Instagram accounts. It's also a solid way to get a hold of us. You can me message us directly on either one of those platforms. Or if you don't like using those, you can always send us an email at lovehubforlife at gmail.com. We'll see you guys next week. Peace out. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.